Hi guys, welcome back to my new videos. Designing of the three phase inverter with the sinusoidal pulse width modulation using MATLAB Simlink. The circuit diagram for the three phase inverter has been shown here. There, here the switch orders are S1 will be there, S3 and S5 and S2, S6 and S4. S1 and S4 comes under leg 1, S3 and S6 comes under leg, leg 2 and S5 and S2 comes under leg 3. Let's open MATLAB Simulink. Now, required are IGBTs. After that, DC source, DC voltage source. DC voltage to that series RLC RLC branch required Let us connect the emitter to the collector and emitter to collector and after that collector to the collector, collector terminal to collector terminals and emitter terminal to the emitter terminal and connect the positive of the DC source to the collector terminal and the negative to the emitter terminal and let us change this to R load and set the value as 10 ohms and let us make 3 and make it as a star connected load and connect to the phase A, phase B and the phase C. Now select Search for sine wave. After that, search for repeating sequence. Repeating sequence. Select for relational operator. and after that logical operator logical operator and select for not sine wave Select the amplitude as 0 0.95 and the frequency in radian per second as 2 into pi into 50 hertz and the phase will be the 0 for the phase A and select to go to select set tag name as S1 copy this and keep this name as S4 for the opposite switch in the same leg now copy this and here change the uh, phase radian will be the 2 pi by 
by 3 that is 120 degree oh sorry uh, change here time spans as 0 and 1 by 10,000 as switching frequency is 10,000 and 2 divided by 10,000 and the it will start from minus 1 1 and 1 minus 1 so which it is here select set this as just 3 third switch and the opposite will be the L6 now change here the phase shift will be the 2 into 2 to this is 4 pi by 3 that is 240 degree and the switch will be 4 switch yes 5 and 4 switch yes 2 now let us give the pulses to the S1 to the first switches and S4 for the in same leg for the fourth switches. S3 will be the top in middle and S6 will be the bottom middle switches. S5 to the upper right switches and S2 to the right lower switches left switches now change the voltage as 400 volt dc source voltages and now the required is power gui block now change this to the discrete and click apply apply and okay now let us run our simulation oh okay. for validating the output let us connect to a scope and uh, for measuring the voltage required a voltmeter voltage measurement and here we will measure the per phase voltages phase to phase phase voltage and and voltages and connect to power phase and line voltages now run our simulation Now, as you can see, the shifted output voltages. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share.